Hi, I'm Ken from Carimage UK, and in this short video, I'm going to take a quick look at Carimage stairs within Archicad 18. In Archicad 18, Carimage stairs has three types of stair. So if I go to the Polystair tool, you'll see here we have three stair types. We have a solid, a floating, and a stringer-based stair type. If we have a look at what these actually look like on plan, then they're very similar because at this stage I haven't added too much detail to them. But if we have a look at 3D, you should be able to see the distinction between them. So here we have a solid stair, a floating stair, and a stringer based stair. If I select the stringer type and go into the settings, you can see we have a new look to the interface. And this follows a similar pattern to all of the tools. So once you become familiar with one of the Academy's tools, the rest should follow fairly quickly afterwards. Down the left here, we have various options, so structure, flights and landing and symbol. Depending on the tool, depending on the stair, etc., there'll be more pop-outs appear as we go into these lists. And then in the main panel itself, we usually have something similar to this, where we have parameters, surfaces, and then pens and colours for plan and section settings. I'm just going to take a brief look at some of the settings here. So in the parameters, we've got our overall things like the total rise, the width of the stair, we then have options for the treads and the risers, so whether that's closed or open. So let's just go for open. And we can do various little things like um, adjust the settings for the height, the going, the rise, and the kick plate at the back as well. I'm going to look at stringers next, because we've got three options for these. We can either have full-size strings either side. We can have the option to have cut strings, which is what it was on previously. And then we've also got the option to place the treads physically on the stringers themselves. I'm going to go back to the cut strings and we'll take a quick look. And we can do little things like, say, offset these in 100. So quite quickly I've changed from one appearance to something a little bit different. The rest of the settings of flights and landing, I'm going to come back to these shortly. But if I take a brief look, we have options here for surfaces for the treads of rises and stringers. And also pens and colour settings. So I'm just going to OK this, and you'll see the model updates. If we look at the floating stair, take a brief look at the settings. This follows a very similar pattern. It's more simplified here. Because it's floating, there's no stringers, so this would be anchored to some sort of structural element. But again, you can see we've got the option for open or closed. So we'll just close that one off. And then the final one was a solid stair. So this is concrete based with some sort of tread on top. And again, similar pattern that we can play around with. If I actually go and look at how to edit a stair now, this is different from previous versions. So what I'm going to do is pick a stair up and there's not much we can actually do here because we're locked down at this stage. So what I need to do is go into the settings and in here we have this area called graphic editing and there's two options with it. We can either edit the flights and landings or we can edit the treads themselves. So I'm going to go first off with graphic editing of flights and landings. So with this graphic editing switched on, you'll see a number of hotspots now appear. And we can do things like, if we pick these base ones, we can actually kick out the width of this part of the stair. And maybe this section here, we can stretch. And this is going to increase the width of the landing to keep everything proportionate. This middle hotspot here at the top of each length, we can pick this up and this allows us to control the length of that particular part of the stair. One thing to point out is we're working immediately with one stair object, whereas in previous versions we had a number of components that came together and were assembled to create a final stair object. If I take this point, maybe what we'll do is reduce the size of the landing, similarly here. And then we've got other control. This point here is going to allow me to curve the landing. So you can see it curve backwards and forwards. Maybe I'll curve this piece here, angle it around slightly first, and then we'll pick it up and curve it back inwards so we're getting more of a, a customised shape. In the same way, we can pick up this section and curve that around as well. So these changes are obviously tracking in 3D, and we can see what's going on in here. You'll see that some of these controls do work in 3D, but it's actually quite tricky. I find it easier to modify this on plan. So what I will do is I've reduced the shape to here, but what I'm going to do is go back into the settings, and then I'm going to look at the flights and landing section. And what we'll do is we have three parts to the stair. We have the first flight, the landing, and the next flight. And what we can do is maybe add, if we go to part three, add another section on top. So I now have an additional 
flight of stairs. Uh, maybe what we'll do is convert that to landing. And we can control things like that's 1400, let's make it just 900. It was angled, but I've changed it to zero degrees. We could set a radius if we want to work that way. And we can also put additional extensions left and right onto that stair. But what I'm going to do is just add one final one, which in this case is going to be a flight. I'm going to make it a fairly short flight. 900 again is fine. We could set our angle, we could set a radius, whatever we need to do here. But what I can do is, now that I've added those, is drop back. And again, you'll see that I can pick up and I can add the various curves to control these sections if necessary. The final part to look at with stairs is if we drop back into the settings again, is we can now switch to graphic editing of treads. And what this allows me to do is if I pick up this hotspot here, you can see I'm able to curve all of the treads on that particular section of the stair. You'll also notice there are points on the end of each tread all the way around here. And what we can actually do with those is pick up and we can put a little radius on the end of these treads if we wish. And that can be done on any of these. So in 3D we now have this sort of um, difficult to describe, probably very difficult to manufacture stair. Hopefully.